Hello again, YouTube. Um, I made a video yesterday of me going to Walmart and buying some Tula ammo for my SKS. And um, right next to Walmart, there is a Gander Mountain. So I decided to stop in there, see what they have, just look around. And I uh, found something really interesting. And I kind of an impulse buy, and I really had to buy it. Let me show you guys what I got. More than I got. 9130. Pretty nice shape. Sorry about the camera work. I'm recording this on my cell phone. But what's interesting about this one is it's a hex receiver. And it's from 1936. It is a Tula. Sorry, again, sorry guys about the shoddy camera work. Um, it does have some Ishvek markings on it, like on the bolt. Probably going to be very hard for you guys to see this. Um, the, the hand guards right here and right here, they're Ishvek. And the cool thing that I like about this gun is that it has not been counterboard by the arsenal. So let me show you guys that this gun is safe. No ammunition. So I was cleaning it out yesterday after I got it. And I put a light down the the bore, and I noticed that it wasn't counterboard. I'm gonna stick a bullet in there so you guys can see. Very, very, very good shape. There's one little rust pit inside the barrel, but other than that, this gun is in really Good shape besides the stock being a um, little dinged up there. Got some uh, ding marks and the shellac is coming off. But with this gun, I plan on doing a uh, stock repair on it. Adding some new stain possibly. Some polyurethane or some true oil. But I think I stole this gun. It was only $200. And uh, like I said, it was an impulse buy. I wasn't going in there planning on buying any guns. But when you see a uh, Tula Hex, you kind of got to get them when you can. Because these uh, Hex receivers are getting harder to find. Like again, I said, I think I got a pretty good deal on it. Um, all numbers are matching. They are force match, however, which I guess that's not too big of a deal. Um, the head spacing on it is pretty good. Uh, it's got a steel butt plate. Matches. And it does have the stock ref refurbishment mark on it. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Did come with just the sling, no bayonet, no ammo pouches, no tools, nothing, just bare bones, Mosin Nagant, 9130. And uh, yeah, so that's my review for this fine Mosin Nagant that I picked up yesterday. Um, and I plan on doing some shooting videos with it very soon. I just picked up. Uh, couple of spam cans of Mosin Nagant ammo for it. I have uh, two other Mosin Nagants now. I am going kind of crazy on these guns. I've been collecting for years now. So I have a 1942 M38 and a 1942 9130. So this is my third Mosin Nagant to this collection that I have. I also do have a 
Nagant Revolver, and I will be doing a, another video on that shortly. So let me know what you guys all think about it. I think it's a good deal that I got for it. Um, they usually don't have these most Nagants at uh, Big Five Sporting Goods. Or, I'm sorry, Gander Mountain. So, uh, yeah, give me a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, I think it's a, I think it's a pretty good deal. And the import marks are right there. Sorry, it's kind of hard to see. I will be buying a regular camera, but I thought that I would just get out and shoot this off. See what everybody thinks about it. So if you have any questions or comments or if you like this video, click like and subscribe. I'm just starting to build up my new YouTube channel that I just created. I'm crazy81. Um, I do have several other guns that I'm going to be making videos on. I actually have 10 in my collection now. So yeah, thanks YouTube. Talk to you later. Have a good day.